Uh, my name is Troy Bryant. I work with Reynolds Polymer. We custom make acrylic windows. We cast them, pour them in the shape and size that our customer needs, and we install windows all over the world. Some of the windows go in swimming pools where you can swim right up and see out over the skyline or the ocean. I'm working on a swimming pool right now up in uh, Kansas where it's eight stories up and you walk out over, look down through the window and see the, the street eight stories down. We work in 57 different countries so far and we've installed thousands and thousands of acrylic windows. So every client wants their product to be bigger and better than the last one we sold and installed. And so the industry is getting more and more complex with each and every design, with each and every installation. The window that we put in here in, in Atlanta had to fit the precision concrete rebates, self-performed by Brassfield and Gorey, who also had to coordinate with structural engineers to leave a block out in an elevated concrete slab and a framed opening in a steel roof that the dome panel was lowered through. One of the most difficult designs that I've had to install, 35,000 pounds to pick up a, a, a piece that size and not know whether it's gonna fit or not is terrifying. So this particular dome room uh, had two opposing arches. It had a horizontal arch that was about 300 inches long, and then a vertical arch that was about 480 inches long. And to be able to determine if both of those arches fit into the concrete proved to be very difficult. When we were inside the dome room, it's pretty easy to take a tape measure and uh, measure the arc length, but the distance between that arc length at each point on the arch length back to the other arch length, the opposing arch length, uh, it seemed like the numbers we were getting were pretty arbitrary, you know, it's like uh, if it was off one direction or the other, and to lay out a grid uh, was extremely complicated, it was going to take days to try to, to figure that out. So that's when we uh, sought out the 3D Disto and uh, it's got an X, Y, and a Z coordinates, so you can get all the different angles. We were able to uh, shoot the points within an hour. Within the next 15, 20 minutes, I had those points loaded on, uh, into a file uh, and emailed directly from the job site to my engineer uh, back in Colorado, and he overlaid the measurements onto his CAD drawing to see if it would it was correct. It worked out very well. It was a lot easier uh, and a lot more accurate. So in my bag, I have four or five different types of tape measures, and I do have a laser tape measure where uh, you just punch the button. That's a, a very common measuring tool. But uh, to be able to measure the length, width, and depth of the rebate all at the same time was very new experience for me. Uh, very quick and I felt much more confident about the measurements themselves. Once you set up the 3D Disto, it uh, projects the image that it sees onto your computer. And then you aim the laser to the different points and you can take hundreds and hundreds of points along the arch. So you don't have just a beginning and an ending. You can see the development of the arch so that it goes into a CAD uh, design program and the engineers take it from there. In the, in the development of this project, there's so many people involved. There's the general contractor, Brassfield and Gorey, who had built their rebates to a specified precision that allowed the acrylic to be set within tolerance. But then we've got the, in another facility, they're making the window uh, and those two things have to join up perfectly. And I'm hoping that the concrete people and the manufacturing people communicated well. What this measuring system did for me was I knew before the window got here, you know, before all the shipping, before all the road closures, before the crane rental, before all of that, that the 3D Disto had confirmed that we were going to be right on. You know, once you pick the, the window up off the, off the truck, uh, this particular job site didn't have a lot of extra room. If it didn't fit, there wasn't anywhere we could set it down and work on it for a little bit and then try again. It had to fit. And so uh, we got it off the truck with the crane, 
Uh, we dropped it through the ceiling and uh, the very first time that we set it down, it was within four inches. And then we spent the next several hours uh, negotiating and, and moving this 36,000 pound window four inches to fit perfectly on the rebate, right where the 3D Visto said it would fit.